Welcome to Evolution of Self with me, Britannia. Hello. So I think I've spoken about control um, a number of times. It's come into episodes I've done in the past. But what I want to do today is to, speak, to share with you a realisation that I've had. And I'm still working through the realisation, so it might develop in the future and I might tweak things and change things slightly. I was mentoring someone recently and we were talking about control. And I've always believed that control comes from fear. Um, and this hasn't changed. However, as with most things, there's very rarely a sort of a bad and, a, you know, this thing's bad and this thing's good. Most things are both good and bad. Although even that in its own way, if you're particularly spiritual, is, is deemed not the correct terminology. But for the simplicity of understanding what I'm saying, this, this is the terminology I'm using. And I always thought that control was not a good thing because as far as I could see, it came from fear. And as discussing this with this person that I mentioned, I realised that there are areas of my life where I use control in a positive way. I use it to create who I want to be. I use it consciously to be the person that I want to be. So it made me start to think that control is not all good or all bad, that it's something that we can use either through fear, which generally creates the thing that you fear, or we can use it to create and create what we want in life. So in this discussion, I was talking about my sort of exercising and things that I do. And I am, I wouldn't say controlled in that it is a rigid, absolute fixed thing, because things do come in and shift and change. I can get injured, I might get ill, something might come up and I, I miss something. And I'm quite relaxed about allowing those things to happen. But on the whole, I have a routine. And I know that if I stick to that routine, it's good for me and that I feel more healthy, uh, my body feels how I want it to feel, um, I feel younger <laughs> than when I don't do it, and that there's a lot of positives around it. And I can see that there's an element of control in that, the control that gets me out of bed in the morning and gets me to do what I know I need to do. And that to me is a positive kind of control. But I think the word control is something that I need to use lightly. Because when I think of control, it's rigid, it's fixed, it's unbending, unmoving. But what I do is more fluid, as I've said. It's not fixed, it's not unbending, but it is determined and consistent and, and it holds the space that I want it to hold for me to be who I want to be. Now, the control that I spoke about in the beginning, the control that I've always thought about that, well, not always, but for quite a long time, that comes from fear, that control is destructive, or what I've seen of it is destructive. It's controlling from a fear that if you don't control something, um, something bad will happen. But when I see that control used, to me, what I've seen, it creates the very thing that you fear. I know that in a relationship I had a long time ago, um, the person I was with had bad things happen to them. And I mean, this is all stuff that I realised in hindsight. At the time when I was in the relationship, I was very young and I, I didn't see it. But he used to try to control me. He wanted to control what I wore. He wanted to control what I ate. He wanted to control the people I saw. Um, all sorts of things about my life he wanted to control. And I know that now, looking back on it, that that control came from fear. And the only thing that it caused to me was for me to rebel and most likely to behave in the way that he feared I would do if he didn't control me. And the more he controlled, the more distance it created between us until eventually I broke the relationship and I left. And the thing that he feared most was me leaving him actually happened. And so you can see how that kind of control can cause the very thing you fear. And it happens so incredibly subtly. I mean, that, that explanation is quite understandable. You can see it very clearly. But it can happen in all sorts of ways in your work. It can happen even in your exercise. If it comes from a place of fear, then the control can take away the very thing that you're hoping to create. And so in sharing this, I hope that you check in with yourself where your control comes from. Does it come from a place of trying to create something in your life? Um, and in doing so, allow you the freedom to be who you really want to be? 
and it's a lighter kind of control? Or is the control from fear? And is it stifling and rigid and immovable? And when something doesn't fall in place with that control, does it make you feel uncertain, vulnerable, but not in a good way, um, insecure and fearful? And if it does, maybe you need to address the fear behind it. Um, and I think I've actually done an episode on fear fairly recently. And if so, I'll stick the link in the show notes below at the end of this. Because if you, if you live your life from a place of fear, not only will you create the things that you fear, but you will live a smaller life. Your life will not be as rich or as full or as full of joy. And you will be constantly fighting life in the hopes that you are strong enough to stop it from hurting you. It's a challenging topic, um, but I hope that it's given you insight that might help you to see what I'm saying and find a way through it. As usual, all my links are in the show notes below, links to my website should you be interested in coaching with me, links to my online courses and links to the Ho'oponopono sessions that I'm doing once a month now. So much love from me to you. Bye bye.